Hello, this is Elder Debbie Starks once again, and I wanted to share a teaching that the Lord had put in my heart to do today, but I had to finish my diary assignment, and I did that this morning. Um, in the month of October, for the whole month of October, the Lord began to do a teaching with me concerning demons, and the title of the teaching for the whole month of October was called The Wisdom of Demons. And every day I was teaching. And guess what? I was coming out of those four books. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. In and out. Going through them. Showing the wisdom of demons. So on October the 16th, early in the morning, I was awakened. Now I wasn't awakened by the Holy Spirit. Um, we have not only the Holy Spirit, who is our teacher, our comforter, our guide. He's our tutor. We also have angels of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Revelation that everything that the Lord God was getting ready to do, he was going to signify it through angels. So we see that angels do have this interaction in our lives, in history, in destiny, in the present time, in our personal lives. Angels are a part of our lives. Believe that. So October the 16th, I, that's when I did this teaching. I did it maybe like three o'clock in the morning, which was usually about the time he would wake me up. So an angel of the Lord came to me and he said, come and see. So I rose up and he brought me into the spirit. It was weird. This is what happened. When he said, come and see, I stepped into the room where he was at and we took off. Now, if you ever downloaded the app called Google Earth, you know that um, you type in a destination and the, the diagram begin to shift on its axle and find the location of it on the globe and then you drop down into the view of it, right? That's how Google Earth operates, the app. Well, that's how this particular visitation went. When he said, come and see, I stepped into the room with him and we took off. We took off out of the atmosphere where I began to see the earth as a whole, just as the Google app was. He picked a destination and then suddenly we started falling back into the earth. Full speed, look, I don't, if you've ever seen it, you know what I'm talking about. This is how we were falling into the atmosphere. We went down into the atmosphere. We went into a very greatly dense part of, of greenery. It was a part of the earth that was full of greenery. You know how when you see these waterfall kind of sceneries where they go into the Amazons and, and other parts of the world that are so overtaken with trees and rocks and such. It was just like that. So we drop down, we begin to fly, you know, we was just, I, I mean, we was passing over waterfalls and going along rocks. I mean, this the way the, this is just the way the view was going. We was, we was moving and I was just, whoo, you know, he was moving so fast. And then suddenly we was over this dense part of woods. He stopped dead and we dropped down, zoom. Passing trees, passing trees, passing trees, passing trees, down, down, down. View are getting more and more focused, coming down, down, down. And we stopped hovering over a site. And he kind of let me just kind of fly around just looking at it. And I asked the angel, I said, what is this? He said, this is the place of whispers. It was an altar. This altar, though it was overgrown with greenery, vines and trees and, and such, as if it's, there, there was no fresh trails going to it. It was something that looked like it was abandoned hundreds of years ago. As we was hovering over it, he said, this is an altar. I said, an altar? 
He said, this is the place of whispers. And so we kind of circled around. It was ancient rocks piled upon another, you know, broken down, leaning over some of it, laying flat. It was amazing. Then he took me up. So we went back up again. Faster than light, it seems. Then all of a sudden, the earth began to spin around again. And then he picked up a place. The earth was spinning on his axle. He's picked a place. We drop, zoom, straight into the atmosphere. And there we go, dropping deeper, deeper, deeper. More dense wooded area, waterfalls, trees. You know, it was the, it was so dense you couldn't see ground. And we swoop. And we are flying. And we are flying. You know, going over, coming down, going in valleys, up mountains. And he's zooming. I, it, it, oh, I'm gone with him, right? Then he finds an area. Again, overgrown tr um, greenery. Um, there are trees and ancient. Look, the trees were huge. He stopped. And then we dropped into the mist of the forest. We dropped down. Shh, whoo, stop right before we hit the ground. And we hovering. There was another altar. This one looked at like a totem pole. It was tall and it was animal and then man and then something else and then something else and then something else. And it was huge. It was, it was, it was tall and it was ancient. Once again, there was no fresh broken greenery. There was no trails going to it. It was out in the midst of the woods as if it was forgotten. Mm -hmm. It was. And we sailed around it and he let me see the different faces that was on it and we just kind of like and he just stood there hovering with me and as we were floating about then he took me up again we went up straight out of the atmosphere again the earth like google earth spinning on his axle you know <laughs> he stops it picks a place we drop back down into the atmosphere. Once again, over waterfalls, sailing along the trees. It was just as I say it was, over again. And as we came closer to another one, he found some more dense, grained, overgrown area way out somewhere. I don't even know where we were at. We were in different parts and different continents. And then we dropped down. Shoo, Falling down faster and faster, faster and faster. Stop. Hovering. <laughs> now this one was strange looking. It was like monkeys or something. Some kind of animals was carved on it. It was huge. Once again, overgrown with um, greenery. Overgrown with vines. Um, trees that had fell over and crack some of it once again it's not showing any activity and I asked him again I said why are you showing me all these altars he said these are the places of whispers I said a place of whispers he said yes he said these are who they pray to all over the world, people call unto these altars, praying for power, praying that they do um, harm. They communicate with them. He said in the ancient ones that deals with these, these altars, the ancient demons that are attached to these altars, he said they, they go and they do assignments and such for them. That's what he told me. He said, this is the place of whispers. That's what he called it. He brought me back to my room. And he told me, this is what the angel said. I'm going to read it right off my paper. He said, when we pray against the altars of darkness, the place of whispers, 
we scramble the communication, the assignments of demons and those that serve them. <laughs> and then I awaken. I got up two, three o'clock in the morning and I begin to write. I begin to type up everything I saw. I even went on the web and tried to find pictures that was similar to what I had seen. I'm going to show you some images. They may not, well, I don't think I can turn this camera around. Can I? No, I'm sorry. I can't. But, um, can I? No, I can't turn it around. So it's only going toward me. Well, it's the place called Whispers. It's the rim um, of altars. They have altars all over the world out here. In every continent, there's an altar. And at these altars, they are called altars of darkness. And he calls that rim that they talk to these altars in. People all over the world are praying to them, even though they are not in the wooded areas. They are praying to these ancient demons. He said, this is the rim of whispers. <laughs> he said, when we pray against those altars, you scramble the communication. You scramble their voices so that they cannot carry out their assignments. Yeah. Right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to the rim of whispers. I scatter the voices. Yes, city candirosho. Tambari ya city candirosa. See, when we pray, you need to remember that these entities, these demons, they hear you. I've cast out demons over airwaves. Why? Because like Prophet T.B. Joshua says, there's no distance in the spirit. I can hear them and they can hear me. There have been times that I've prayed concerning a matter Someone asks for prayer. And as I'm praying, I can hear the demonic talking to me concerning that person. You can't do anything. You're there and we're here. There's nothing you can do to us. And you know what I tell them? Stop talking to me. I said, I can hear you. I say, just like you can hear me. Yes, <laughs> The rim of whispers. It's when they talk to ancient ones. When someone is speaking dark words towards you. Witches, warlocks, sorcerers, mm -hmm. people that are into Wicca, native practices. Yeah. They talk to ancestors. That's what they call them. They call them ancestor spirits. They're demons. They're demons that's been serving their generations all their lives. They are demons. They are ancient demons that's been a part of their families, part of their lives. They call them ancestors as if they are family. But I shut down 
the communication. Hallelujah. I'm, I, I feel led to go a certain way with this. And so I shall. I want to speak to ancient ones. We call them ancestors. You know, we want to light candles to ancestors. We want to give baskets of food to ancestors. We get, give them cigars and give them gin. We um, give them our sons and we give them our daughters. We give them our bodies. We call them ancestors like they're some kind of family members. They are parasites. That's what they are. They are an enemy to the cross. In the name of Jesus, I scatter the airwaves. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There was one, there was one, and I'm not speaking out of the imagination of my mind. There is one that you're being pressured by family. They're saying, it's always been this way. We've done it like this for generations. You must do it or you will be cursed. They're telling a lie. There is no curses out here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus became the curse. Hallelujah. He became the one that took the, the, the reproach, the punishment for sins. He's the one that took it. So right now in the name of Jesus, as an elder of the house of God, standing in the prophetic words of the kingdom, I shut down the airways to your household. If you will make a commitment to serve God, I promise you, he will show you he is bigger than their God. <laughs> My God is bigger than your God. Yes, he is. Yes, Moshata. So anything that Satan is saying, I shut down the communication in the airwaves. Right now, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, stop talking. Yes, The kingdom of God is at hand. Yes, Moshata. I speak to vipers. I speak to those that are standing in authoritative positions right now in the name of Jesus that are giving ear to seducing spirits. Doctrines of devils. Yes. Hallelujah. Mixing the seed of righteousness with the seed of the unclean. Bringing into the houses of God. Oh my God. We're going into a season. We're going into a celebration. When we begin to carry in. The goddess of Astra. And sit hit it. On the side. Of the cross. In our houses of God. Yes. We serve an Astra. And we're trying to serve God. You cannot be partakers. Of ancestor stuff. That's not your ancestors. They're parasites. They are the damned. Handelia city kundia.
I scatter the hour. Ye city kondia buri city kayaro shoto mala asa buri city kandiro oso si handio kumbara ate shoto mala la masa si ke ato kumbale e e se ato ba a se e e to kumala ate ata. Shotui ka tom mali ati ali do soto ya la mata. Brie te anto maya. That's a native tongue of somebody that I'm just speaking to right now. And you understood everything I said. It's your native tongue. Yesi te kandido soto. See how the gifts of the Holy Spirit, how they are needed. The ministry of the Holy Spirit is needed in our lives because he know how to minister to the nations of tongues out here. The Bible says there's a gift that's called the gift of, of unknown tongues. Being able to speak a tongue that we do not know. But yet, it is a tongue that has been established in the land. It is a needed gift. Come forth, servants of God. Be fully used. Desire the more excellent gift. What is the excellent gift? The one that is needed at the time. This is Elder Sister Debbie. Sing spring forth. Spring forth. In Jesus' name. <laughs>